Taurus, what is going on with you? Come on in, have a seat, make yourself comfortable. My name's Alan from unknowntruthtarot.com. Welcome back to another Taurus Love Read. Now, if this is your first time here and you have questions that you want answered about your romantic love life or your relationship, then start now by subscribing and clicking on that little bell icon so you always get notified anytime I post a new Taurus reading for you. Now, let's get on with this Taurus love reading today because today we are going to take a look at the status of the love connection between you and your romantic person of interest here in April 2023. I'm going to do that by getting one card to represent the mutual point of interest between the two of you here in April. Then I'm going to get three cards for you, three cards for your person. Then I'm going to clarify everything with the second deck, just to make sure we can get down to the bottom of the unknown truth about what's really going on in this love connection of yours. So let's get on with it. Let's get one card for what is the mutual point of interest between Taurus and their romantic person of interest here in April 2023, please. Okay, we're taking two. What's going on with you, Taurus? What's going on with Taurus as it relates to their romantic person of interest and the connection between them in April 2023? Okay, we're taking an extra one for you here. Okay. Let's get three cards for your person. What is going on with Taurus's romantic person of interest as it relates to Taurus and the connection between them here in April 2023, please? Let's get one more. Okay. I'm here. On the bottom of the deck, the overall energy of this reading is the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is Pisces energy. This is an energy of detachment. It's emotional detachment, physical detachment, like physically walking away. The person on the card is walking away from eight full cups of love, and they're doing that because they think there's probably something better out there for them. So this is about making the conscious but like difficult decision to walk away from what you have to go down a brand new path, going off in search of your ninth and tenth cup, your own personal happiness and fulfillment, that happy fairy tale love connection we all want. So this has got two distinct ways this usually plays out for me. Way number one is this could be a person who thinks the grass might be greener on the other side of the fence and they just got to go check and see. So they walk away from something that they have to go see if they can find something better. What they usually find is that what side of the fence the grass is on doesn't have anything to do with how green it is. The grass is greener where you water it, where you nurture it, where you pour something of yourself into it. So a lot of times if this is representing a person with the grass is greener on the other side of the fence syndrome, they usually find out it's not greener and then they try to come back. The other way this could play itself out is you recognizing that eight cups is the best that someone can give you. and doesn't make them a bad person it just means that you, you literally aren't going to get any more out of them beyond the eight cups because they literally can't do anymore it'd be like asking me to be on your basketball team because you want somebody that can slam dunk well i'm never going to be able to slam dunk a basketball so shooting is the best i can do for you so this would represent that, like realizing this person or someone isn't going to be able to give you what you want, so you go down a new path to find it. Ah, I'm not sure how that plays out, which way that goes yet. I have death right under that. This is the Scorpio Major Arcana card. This is an ending to something. This is something dying so that it can be born again in a different way. So think about a caterpillar when it goes into the cocoon. It's not having fun inside that cocoon. When it, when it comes out, it's a beautiful butterfly, but that whole process of being in the cocoon is a painful transformation that's taking place. The caterpillar aspect of itself actually dies, and when it comes out, it's born again. It's something completely different. So this usually represents an ending to something, or it represents this massive, painful transformation period that's taking place here. Have the magician right underneath that this is the mac daddy master manifester of the tarot deck this is someone who has all the tools abilities and resources to create the world around them to be in alignment with what their will desires so this is someone who who is creating the world around them through their thoughts and through their actions so someone is actively manifesting something related to some sort of an ending or some sort of a massive painful transformation period some sort of a detaching and walking away here 
right behind that magician i have the two of cups so this is a love connection between two people this is cancer energy this is i breathe you in you breathe me in. we're connected but it's a two and in tarot twos represent a choice so this is some sort of a choice about the love connection sometimes it can represent a choice between two different cups of love between two different people here that's the overall gist of what it looks like this reading is going to talk to me about. We'll probably have to come back to that as we go along. But this mutual point of interest is shared energy that affects both of you here in April 2023. doesn't always affect you both exactly the same way. Sometimes it's a case of they did or said this and now you're feeling the consequences of it or vice versa. Or it could be a thing where they did or said something and now you're feeling this way or vice versa. Or it could legitimately be some... <clears throat> excuse me some external thing that's affecting you both normally i get one card here but i got two this time so your mutual point of interest for april 2023 taurus is the lovers and the page of wands the lovers is the gemini major arcana card this is a powerful love connection it's the major arcana version of this two of cups that we saw here Ooh, apparently i didn't go down far enough right under that two of cups is the ten of swords and justice so we've got some sort of a swift, painful ending that took place here. <sighs> an ending someone didn't see coming, an ending in betrayal potentially. No matter what, this is an ending of something. And then we've got Justice, which is the Libra Major Arcana card. So this is, it's about doing the right, fair, just thing. It's about balancing something out that's out of balance. So, you know, justice can happen and like balance can be restored and the, the right, fair, just thing can occur. Right under that, I have the Five of Swords, which is a very mentally and psychologically painful situation or event. It's Aquarius energy. This is this is a conflict of some kind. It could be a big fight, bitter words being spoken, words being used like weapons. This can represent a betrayal. I've got two cards here in, out of these three that could represent some betrayal taking place. Yeah... And a bent, like a detaching and walking away at death. So like this magician is feeling like somebody manifested this situation. Somebody created it this way. Uh, potentially brought in a new cup of love here. The lovers. It's the major arcana version of that two of cups. It's a very powerful connection here. But a long, long time ago, before the card was called the Lovers, it used to be called the Choice. So it represents some sort of a choice in this connection, or possibly a choice between more than one lover. And with that, I have the Page of Wands, which is news and messages and communications about passion and desire. It can be someone who has the willingness to take the very first steps down a brand new path towards something there's passion and desire for. And that's kind of a piece of what I said about this card. It's someone walking away from what they have and choosing to go down a brand new path that they believe leads them to their own happiness and fulfillment. So it's looking like we got something, something a little fishy going on here. Tell me more about the lovers, please. Why is the lovers and the page of wands the mutual point of interest between Taurus and their romantic person of interest here in April? bottom of the deck knight of cups knights are action takers and cups are about love and emotions so this is actions toward love and emotions this is moving forward with romantic offers romantic gestures like flirtatious behavior asking someone out trying to move forward with a love offer or move forward in a love connection trying to advance that in some way five of swords right behind that second time i've seen this now this is aquarius energy again fives are conflict so this is a conflict in communications, a conflict in thinking, this can be a big fight, a betrayal taking place, it can be someone that's got this winning at all costs mentality, in other words, like I'm going to get what I want, and if you get hurt in the process, well sorry about your luck, I'm moving forward with a cup of love here, I'm taking the first steps down a new path here, I'm detaching and walking away, it's what this is starting to look like already, judgment right behind that, this is a final decision being made, in a love reading, this is a final decision about the connection itself. Are we going to call it dead and over with? Or can we resurrect this and bring it back to life? Transform it in a way that it's never going to be this, this kind of a way again here. The moon right behind that. So the judgment is like passing a final verdict and judgment on something. Making a final decision. And then I've got the moon behind it. This is 
fear, worry, anxiety, usually based around uncertainty. When the moon's out, it's dark outside, so it's, it's not easy to see the full path in front of you. There's things that you don't see because they're in the dark. So this can represent something being hidden in the dark. It can represent a secret being kept. It can just represent fear, worry, and anxiety that's being caused by uncertainty about what's going on here. This is looking like there was a secret happening, a betrayal, someone moving forward where they kind of shouldn't have been, and that's caused some sort of an ending here is what this is looking like. When I clarify the lovers and the Page of Wands, I get the Eight of Wands, the Hierophant, the Page of Pentacles, and the Eight of Swords. So the Eight of Wands is Sagittarius energy. This is the second fastest moving energy in the deck. This is rapid forward movement on something, rapid forward progress on something that there's passion and desire for. It can represent rapid back and forth passionate communication. So that's the second card I've got that can represent passion communication. This can sometimes represent travel. It can represent a whole lot of energy coming at somebody all at once, like an overwhelming amount of energy. It'd be like trying to take a drink of water out of a fire hose. It's just too much all at once, and you can't handle that. Then I've got the Hierophant here, which is the Taurus Major Arcana card. This is a card of commitment. It's about being in a committed relationship taking things to the next level advancing it from wherever it is if you're like if you're just boyfriend and girlfriend this would be like getting engaged getting in mar get married this is a marriage card a lot of times but it's about commitment <sighs> page of pentacles here this is news and messages and communications about some practical tangible real world physical opportunity presenting itself a lot of times for me this is planning for the future it's sitting directly below this page of wands which is taking the first steps down a new path here communicating about what i desire or communicating about passion i've got the lovers like tied to the hierophant here so this is a powerful connection the two of you had but there's there's too much communicating going on that doesn't feel like it's between the two of you eight of swords is next this is gemini energy this is an energy of being stuck in your head about something like thinking about it on this repeating loop over and over and over again to where you can't quiet your mind you can't shut your brain off of just constantly grinding on something overthinking the person on the card's blindfolded. They can't see everything around them, so they're not sure what's going on. They're not sure what the safe step to take is here. And that's why they're overthinking, because they don't really know what to do in this situation. They don't want to make a mistake and step the wrong direction. Uh, but this is this is like overthinking something and being stuck in your head about it and feeling like stuck and trapped and blocked because you can't see everything that's going on and because you don't know what to do again this is shared energy that's affecting both of you it's not uncommon at this point in the reading that i don't fully understand what this is telling me yet i usually don't get this until i get most of the way through your energy taurus i'll come back to it then because then i'll be able to see how it applies to you i'll come back to it again as i go through your person's energy because then i can see how it applies to them but your energy in this connection for april 2023 taurus four of swords nine of pentacles then you got two for your last card the two of wands and the moon so i've seen the moon twice now this four of swords is libra energy this it's about stability of the mind stability of the thoughts it's about taking a pause taking a rest, taking a break, like trying to calm your mind down, especially if you're feeling overwhelmed and like you're overthinking something and you can't shut your mind off about like the plan for the future with this commitment uh, or advancing on some love offer or connection with like some betrayal level energy behind that. This can represent a pause in the connection, a break in the connection, like we're on a break right now. This can just represent you choosing to go inside yourself to do some healing or to do some thinking about something, trying to figure out what to do moving forward from here. So let me clarify this Four of Swords. Why is that here for Taurus? Why is that the first card in their energy for April 2023, please? Hmm. Come here. Oh 
on the bottom of the deck. Ten of Wands. This is Sagittarius energy of a heavy burden being carried here. This is a ten, though, and in tarot, tens represent completion. So this is supposed to be the completion of some heavy burden. This is supposed to be the spot where you can lay the burden down and move forward without it. We've got the Emperor right under that. This is the Aries Major Arcana card. This is this is about taking control, taking charge of a situation. This is a person who is a master manifester. It's someone who's at, got all the tools and abilities and resources to put together a plan to get what they want and then execute the plan to get what they want. It's about someone being in control, possibly setting boundaries, possibly someone being in control of something and that's causing some sort of a burden. I have a feeling this is representing your person. Right behind that, I have the tower. So I've got this heavy burden, someone in control, and then the collapse of some important structure in your life here. When the tower happens, it's like something important to you comes crashing down all around you. That can represent the, the collapse of the relationship. It can represent just like, it can be a metaphor for a belief system that you have, like a mental model of the world that you're operating from. In other words, like, I believe we had this very powerful connection here. I believe we had a plan for the future about commitment and taking things to the next level. But then there's this detaching energy here. There's a death energy here. Someone, again, manifesting something with another cup, communicating with that, taking the steps down a new path toward passion and desire. Ah, causing a heavy burden. This, this emperor is feeling like your person creating this situation that collapses something for you. So like the way that you believed the connection was and the way you believed things were going, like this model of the world you were operating from collapses all around you. And when this happens, it's a game changer. It's like, it'll rock your ponderosa. This is like something that nothing's ever the same again after the moment this happens. I want to clarify this Four of Swords, this taking a pause, taking a break, like trying to figure out what to do moving forward from here. I get the Ace of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. The Ace of Swords is the Sword of Truth. It's the Sword of Victory. It's the Sword of Clarity. It's sometimes the sword you would use to make a decision with. The word decision, the Latin word decision comes from, literally means to cut off. Like to cut off the other options until you're left with only one option. And that's how a decision actually gets made. This can also represent the sword you would use to sever a connection with, to sever a relationship with. Could be telling me that we're on a break here. Could be telling me that I gotta go inside myself to heal here and... Maybe try to detach a little bit emotionally and get some clarity on what to do because this is severed. I have the Eight of Pentacles next, which is Virgo energy. This is an energy of work, like putting in the work on something, putting in the time, effort, and energy to get what you want on something, or having the willingness to do that. So this could represent that there is a severing and you're trying to figure out like some clarity so that you can decide to work on this, make the decision to work on this try to get this connection straightened out here. Nine of Pentacles is next. So we have escalating energy here, going from the eight to the nine. So that seems like progress. But then again, something's off here because this is a singles energy. It's Virgo energy. This is like being physically single, like with you or without you. Or even in spite of you, I'm single and abundant and prosperous in my own right. Like, I don't need another person to physically take care of me or financially take care of me. I can do that on my own. This doesn't necessarily mean that you want to be single. It just kind of represents that physically you are single. Sometimes if this is representing a piece of your person's energy showing up over here, it could represent someone who's not single but presents themselves in the physical world as if they are. And then I have the Page of Cups next. And pages are messengers, and cups are about love and emotions. So this is news and messages and communications about love and emotions. It's like lovey-dovey messages, romantic, flirtatious-type behavior. 
making a love offer or being at the very beginning stages of a love offer the fish in the cup is really sticking out to me that's kind of like the pages are the least mature of the court cards so this would be someone who's like emotionally not fully mature yet but the fish in the cup can be like sometimes a sleight of hand technique in other words hey look over here so I, so you don't see what i'm doing with this hand and it's like almost like trying to sneak something lovey-dovey past somebody here it could just be you're single here and still have this interest in putting in the work on it but you're also trying to calm your mind down to get some truth and some clarity here but it definitely looks like there was there's been a lot of communication going on and i don't necessarily feel like all of this communication is between your person and you your next card central to your energy here in april 2023 is the nine of pentacles again so again virgo energy singles energy or someone acting single when they weren't and it's just showing up here because it's affecting you tell me about the nine of pentacles please why is the Nine of Pentacles central to Taurus's energy and its connection? Okie dokie. Bottom of the deck. Judgment. And final verdict and judgment being passed here. Some sort of a final decision being made. Some decision about the connection itself. Is it dead and over with? Or can we resurrect this? I saw in your first column of cards an energy of putting in the work, time, effort, and energy on something. But being single here, there's some something happened. There was some judgment passed that landed you into being single. And what happened to cause the judgment is that Knight of Cups that we already saw. Actions toward love and emotions. Moving forward with the love connection, the love offer. Five of Swords, Aquarius energy. This is feeling like a big fight, probably about betrayal. And then there's death. We already saw death here right behind the overall energy of the Eight of Cups, like this emotional detachment, going to see if the grass is greener on the other side of the fence. An ending to something. There's the ending. This painful transition period that you're in now after this betrayal happens. Right behind it is the King of Cups. This is either Scorpio or Pisces energy. This, this is someone that you have a lot of love and emotions for, and they probably have a lot of emotions for you. They, they may not express that, though. The King of Cups does not wear his heart on his sleeve. This is not somebody who publicly broadcasts what his emotions are, how he's feeling about something. So on one hand, this could be a person that has all this love and emotions for you, but doesn't actually express that to you, doesn't tell you, doesn't show you. On the other side of the coin, it can be somebody who's going through some very emotionally rough, choppy waters, like emotional turmoil, and you would never know that by spending time with them or by looking at them because they don't show that. They don't express that. But I've got the moon underneath that. More Pisces energy here. This is, again, fear, worry, and anxiety about uncertainty, but it can also represent something being hidden in the dark and some secret being kept. And them having one hell of a poker face to where you can't tell what's going on initially. And this all has to do with being single. Now when I clarify that nine of pentacles, I get the king of swords, the queen of swords, the queen of wands, and the page of swords. A lot of swords here. And swords are what I don't want to see in a love reading. I want to see a bunch of cups. King of Swords is either Aquarius or Gemini energy. This is a decision-making energy. This is someone who's very smart and very logical, and very rational and reasonable when they make their decisions. It's a very conscious mind, thinking kind of a person. It's also someone who is very emotionally detached when they make their decisions. That's the overall energy. Detaching emotionally and then probably physically walking away. This is someone who does not consult their emotions or their intuition when they make their decisions. They're looking at what's right in front of them. What's the truth? What's the facts of the matter? What can I see right in front of me? What do I already know to be true? And I'm going to decide based on that alone. I don't care how I feel about it. I don't care how you feel about it or how anybody feels. I'm going to do what's logically the best thing here. 
Sometimes this is a person who does what's logically the best for their own best interest. It's sitting right next to that Ace of Swords. This is looking like a severing here again, especially with the Queen of Swords being the very next card. Now, normally in a love reading, if you get King and Queen of the same suit, that's like counterparts. That's a power couple. Those are two cards that are supposed to be together. So it usually represents two people that at least someone feels is probably supposed to be together. Not, not the King and Queen of Swords. This represents two people that used to be together. This, this is about, this is Libra energy. This is she who knows the truth. She's holding her hand out like that because she's offering someone to speak their truth. She's letting them tell their side of the story. The problem is she already knows the truth. So the story they tell her better match the truth she knows or she's going to cut them with the sword. So this represents speaking the truth. It represents cutting off the things or the people that aren't in your best interest anymore. sitting right next to the card of putting in the work effort and energy on something uh, this could be the more you thinking about it the more you're deciding to cut this idea of working on this out like just sever that whole idea and being single because they were communicating lovey-dovey style somewhere else but I've got I've got a breakup here the severing of the connection I've got a judgment being passed because there was advancing of a love connection somewhere and a betrayal detachment I think your person was emotionally detached and then probably did some dumb stuff with Queen of Wands here this is either Aries or Leo energy this is a bold passionate fiery determined person I've got two different Queens out here uh, this is this is someone who knows exactly what she wants and she goes after it. She doesn't take no for an answer. She doesn't accept bullshit excuses or roadblocks getting in her way. She's going to get what she wants one way or another. Now, this is usually like, if we're not talking about a specific sign of like Leo or Aries or maybe Sagittarius, this would be someone who fits the description of like sexy, vivacious, like good looking, charming, charismatic, someone that there's like an attraction to physically <sighs> passion and desire type of an attraction here on the negative end this can be someone who yeah she knows what she wants but she can carry some drama with her she can be kind of a drama queen in the sense that she's not going to take no for an answer this can be the kind of woman or the kind of person it doesn't have to be a woman just because there's a woman on the card it's feminine energy not female so this can every bit be as a man too, just having this energy. But this could be someone who sees this person that they think is all attractive and like, ooh, I'm interested in that person. And someone's like, yeah, but they're taken already. Well, she doesn't care. It's like, well, that's tough. I see that. I want that. I'm going to get that. She's tied directly with the severing here. And she's also tied directly to the idea of being single and the idea of communicating and the idea of communicating again with this page of swords news messages communications this is also an energy of someone who's trying to learn something trying to figure something out this can represent spying or snooping around and trying to like do some detective work to uncover information about what's going on here this could even be like not done on purpose like you could have just been like organizing and cleaning the house or whatever and then suddenly something falls on the floor and you pick it up and boom it's a clue that lets you know something fishy's going on here maybe you found some sort of passionate or lovey-dovey communications or some communications of any kind with this other person it could be a case where your person left their phone laying on the couch next to you and got up and went to the bathroom and while they were gone bling a message comes in and you see it this could even represent some external person that knows you, knows your person, and they saw ha something happening that shouldn't have been happening, and they came and reported it to you. I mean, this could be like scoping out their social media pages or spying on them or driving past where they live or where they work trying to figure something out. Hell, what we're doing right now with the tarot reading, digging into people's information would even qualify as this. The final card here in your energy in this connection for April 2023, you got two. You got the moon and the two of wands. We've already seen the moon. 
fear, worry, and anxiety from uncertainty. It can represent something being hidden in the dark, some secret being kept here. And then I have the Two of Wands, which is Aries energy. Twos are decisions. This is this is a fork in the road. It's a crossroads in your life. It's a crossroads in this connection. It's a decision point, and it's a decision about which path leads me to the world that I really want, and which path do I need to leave behind. Wands are about passion and desire, so it can also represent a decision about which of these two paths leads me to what I want in that sense here, and potentially something being kept secret and hidden. Tell me more about the moon and the two of wands, please. Why is that here in the Taurus of Energy for April 2023? On the bottom of the deck, the tower. Yeah, this is definitely some secret where somebody had two different paths that they could go down or potentially were going down at the same time. This leads to the collapse of something, probably the collapse of the relationship or the collapse of the belief system of how you thought it was. You probably didn't think there was stuff going on hidden from you that you didn't know about. Right behind that, I've got the Emperor again, which I felt like represented your person before. I even more strongly feel that way now. Aries energy. Someone who's taken control of the situation. They've put together the plan to get what they want. They've executed the plan to get what they want. This is someone who has dominated the situation and, and started down this manifesting path here to create something. Page of Wands. We've already got this out here. News messages, communication about passion and desire, having the willingness to take the first steps down a brand new path toward passion and desire. Ten of Wands. We've seen this already. Sagittarius energy of a heavy burden that's being carried here. This person's actions have caused a heavy burden here for you. Nine of Swords. More fear, worry, and anxiety. This is thinking of, this is a step up from this Eight of Swords. This is this is thinking about something over and over again with so much fear and worry behind the thinking that it's causing physical stress. Like this is mental anguish. This is sleepless nights. This is nightmares. This is like I can't eat. I, I can't concentrate on what I'm trying to do because I can't get this thing off my mind. It's about someone representing a situation in their mind to be so bad that they don't want to look at it here. Player energy behind that. Knight of Wands. This is in and out, back and forth, wishy-washy bullshit kind of an energy. The, someone who comes rushing in all passionately and gets what they want and then they pull back and rush somewhere else all passionately and get what they want. A lot of times this gets called the player of the tarot deck for that reason. Hmm. I think they were doing something they shouldn't have been and keeping it hidden. When I clarify the moon and the two of wands, I get the six of wands, two of wands again, and the two of the major arcana, the high priestess. Okay. Six of Wands is Leo energy. This is a card of recognition. This is like either you being recognized for something, or in this case, more likely your person being recognized for something, or you coming to some sort of a recognition about something that was hidden in the dark from you and being kept secret from you. Your person's getting recognized for it. Right next to it is that King of Swords energy. And right next to that is the Severing energy. This or truth and clarity like that that's what happens when you recognize something you recognize truth you recognize something that gives you a little bit of clarity and in the middle of that is your person and them making very emotionally detached decisions leading to a severing here two of wands i'm it's one of the cards I'm clarifying. And anytime I clarify a card and I get the same card in the clarifiers, it's the universe just beating me over the head like, dude, I done told you. There was a choice here between two different things that someone wanted and they made their choice. <clears throat> and that choice led to a speaking of truth on something and a severing of something. It looks like what's getting severed is this willingness to put in the work, time, effort, and energy on this. And then I've got the High Priestess. Now, I've already seen 
the queen of swords, she who knows the truth. Well, this is just she who knows, period. She sits in front of the veil of consciousness, so she's got access to all the information that you and I as humans don't have access to. She literally knows everything. She sees everything. She doesn't always tell us everything, though. So, in and of herself, she can represent. There's information that you don't see, that you don't know about. Like, you don't have physical access to the information that you're trying to figure out here. But you don't necessarily need it, because even though there's stuff that she doesn't tell us, she clues us in through our intuition, through our gut feelings. So she represents the intuition. She represents the unconscious mind. Those, like, signs, synchronicities, dreams with messages. You know, some sort of an internal knowing where you don't actually have the facts on something because the facts are hidden from you. When I've got both of... When I have either one of these cards, good, good idea that there's something going on you don't know about. But when I've got both of them, especially in the same column of cards, there was definitely a secret being kept. There was definitely something that you didn't know about related to going down two paths, probably at the same time, and you come to some sort of a recognition about it. Could be a case where you got clued in by, you could just tell something was off with the person. You don't know how you knew. You, you can't put your finger, excuse me, on exactly what's wrong. <clears throat> throat is shutting down that's my throat chakra that that's like a clue that there was something somebody was either lying or there was stuff that needed to be said that wasn't being said or that they didn't want to talk about it what's sitting right next to this card is that other person here this queen of wands character and them acting single when they weren't and putting you in a spot where now you are single Ah, I don't think at the beginning you had actual factual evidence to support this. You just knew. <clears throat> and it looks like you had a plan for commitment moving forward with this person. And now you're overwhelmed and stuck in your head. Because that plan, what you thought this was going to be, has collapsed here. And now there's this powerful decision here. When I look at your person's energy here, Nine of Wands, Judgment, Four of Pentacles. Nine of Wands is Sagittarius energy. This is a card of being walled off and defensive about something. It's also a card of healing. This is the wounded warrior and he's been hurt, hence the wall he builds around himself. It's a defense mechanism. It's a way to protect himself. He's been hurt doesn't want to get hurt anymore, doesn't want to continue to get hurt. So he puts this wall up as a way to protect himself so that he can heal and so he can move forward in his journey. Can just represent that your person has put walls up in the way. It can represent that your person has hurt you and walls up. It could represent that they put walls up, became very emotionally detached because of all the stuff that was going on. Tell me more about the Nine of Wands, please. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Taurus is running a person of interest in April 2023. Where did you go? There you are. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck. Judgment again. Seen it a couple of times on your side. It's the card I'm going to clarify next, central to your person's energy. Here it is again on the bottom of the deck. Some final verdict and judgment being passed. Some final decision here of either this is dead and over with, or we can resurrect it. I think judgment's getting passed that it's dead and over with because of the secrets that were being kept. The stuff that was being hidden in the dark by your person. The betrayal, the winning at all costs mentality like i'm gonna do whatever i want and if it hurts you well the, sorry about your luck i'm taking care of me and getting what i want death I've seen this a couple of times already it's right here under this detaching and walking away to see if the grass is greener on the other side of the fence and ending to something painful transformation process taking place king of cups This person had some emotions that they weren't expressing. They were walling themselves off here. I think they were putting barriers in place between the two of you. 
probably trying to wall themselves off from a judgment of their secret getting exposed and the betrayal coming out because it would end the relationship. To clarify the Nine of Wands, I get the Knight of Cups, the Chariot, and the Six of Cups. Knight of Cups, again, actions toward love and emotions, advancing a love offer, moving forward in romantic gestures, romantic offers, advancing a love connection here. The Chariot, Cancer's Major Arcana card. This is the fastest moving energy in the deck. The second fastest is this Eight of Wands that's here in the shared energy. This is very quick moving here in terms of this advancing and moving forward in some love off or some other place. This is moving forward very quickly. This is someone who is using their will to get past problems or challenges or obstacles that are in their way so that they can move forward on this love offer, this love connection, just through sheer will alone, getting past all the stuff that's in the way and then moving forward very fast in success and victory. Six of Cups, Scorpio energy of the past. This is thinking about the past, reminiscing about the past, thinking about the good old days, the way things used to be. This can even represent someone from the past making a comeback. It could be that they got someone here that's not a brand new person. I don't have any cards out here that would indicate this is a new person. <clears throat> I've got cards out here of like, I got to choose. Possibly a powerful connection where they had some level of commitment somewhere else before you. This could be a person that they were already with at some point in time before you and they've put walls in the way and started moving in that direction. Maybe trying to overcome any obstacles or challenges they had with that person from the past. Trying to get past the judgment that happened between them. This doesn't have to be someone that they used to be with. Just the past is a relative term. Like technically five seconds ago is in the past. This would just sometimes represent a person that is not brand new. Someone that they have some sort of a history with. Someone that they know, for example. It could be someone that they work with. It could be... This would just represent not a brand new person. Like they didn't go out some one night to a club or a bar or something and bump into some brand new hot chick that they've never met before and things happened this would represent someone they already know on some level central to their energy here is judgment again a final decision happening about this connection is it dead and over can we resurrect it tell me about judgment why is that central to this person's energy it could just be that you pass judgment on them because their secret came out bottom of the deck the tower yeah this is the collapse of the relationship a judgment happened it's been called dead and over with the tower has collapsed because they were being a player wishy-washy in and out bullshit energy this is somebody who comes rushing in and gets what they want from you and then they go somewhere else and get what they want from someone else and they come back and forth trying to play both sides of the fence. If this is the grass is greener on the other side of the fence, this is the dude, or the chick even, that runs off and goes to see if it is. And then they come back and pretend like nothing happened. And then they go back again and they just come back and forth. Nine of Swords. And probably having fear, worry, and anxiety about getting caught on this and thinking about that a lot. Because if I get caught, eh, this is going to be bad. Ten of Wands, carrying the heavy burden of that. I don't think I told you this Nine of Swords is Gemini energy. Ten of Wands is Sagittarius energy. Emperor, see? Aries Major Arcana card. This is the person that was in control of the whole thing happening. And this is about putting together a plan to get what I want and then executing the plan to get what I want and putting boundaries in place and making the rules. And it's like... It's going to be the way I say it's going to be because I run this. Two of Pentacles behind that Capricorn energy. This is a card of balance, but it's much more about trying to maintain their balance or get their balance back after their balance has been thrown off. The Emperor does not get his balance thrown off. So the other meaning to this is someone juggling two people. Ten of Pentacles. While they're in this 
this thing where their life has been combined together with someone. I've got the lovers in the shared energy affecting you both. I've got the hierophant, which is a very committed connection, potentially married. Ten of Pentacles would be we have combined our lives together physically, like living together or are married or going down that path. That was possibly the plan for the future with this person, getting married. Yeah, and that's when they did all this juggling two people. That's why the tower collapsed. The way you thought this was going to go down, that all fell apart here. They changed everything. When I clarified judgment, Knight of Wands, Two of Cups, Three of Wands. Man, 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 man. Knight of Wands already out here in the shared energy. News, messages, communications about passion and desire. It's this person having the willingness to take the very first steps down a brand new path of advancing a love offer because they had passion and desire for something. Communicating about passion and desire. Advancing on that. Going from talking about it to actually doing something about it. Two of Cups. We already saw this here in the story on the bottom of the deck. It's right behind the Magician, which is the person who manifested the Two of Cups manifested the swift painful ending in betrayal that you probably didn't see coming who did the unfair unjust thing who had this whole betrayal i'm gonna get what i want regardless of the consequences type of a mentality and then that heavy burden that they caused here this is a choice between more than one couple look what's up buddy I'm leaving. you're leaving where are you going Sophia's. going to your girlfriend's house have fun. Take your phone with you. Don't put it on silent in case I need to call you. All right. That's my son. He's off on spring break right now. So he's going to walk over to his little girlfriend's house. This is a choice about the love connection. It's a choice between more than one cup of love and your person making a very fast movement on that. Three of Wands is their final card. This is Aries Energy. This is a step beyond this two of wands I saw twice in your final column of cards here. This is a, a decision point. Which of these two paths leads me to the world that I want? Well, in the three of wands, this person has already made that decision of what it is that they want. And they've started down the path. They're taking actions, trying to manifest what they want. This is being at the beginning stages of manifesting. So, so I've seen the emperor two or three times represent them, a master manifester. I've seen the magician here, a master manifester. This is someone at the beginning stages of manifesting. They've chosen what they want. They've taken actions going toward what they want. They have this positive expectancy that the thing I want is going to happen. It just hasn't happened yet. This is some sort of an energy of waiting on something that they know is going to happen to happen. And they've already made their decision about doing things to make it happen. Sitting right next to the card from the past, a person from the past. They're waiting on something with that person. Final card for them, we have the Four of Pentacles, Capricorn Energy. This is an energy of holding on tightly to something and not wanting to let go of it. A lot of times this will be like a greedy, stingy kind of an energy where like it's mine and you can't have it. I want it all. It's all me. So this could represent your person not wanting to let go of a person from their past, a person not wanting to let go of this two of cups that's in the center of their energy here not wanting to let go of the decision that they've made not wanting to let go of you i'm not 100 percent sure what they're not wanting to let go of tell me more about the four of pentacles please why is that here is the final card the first person april 2023 Bottom of the deck, Five of Swords, Aquarius Energy, Betrayal. This is a big fight. This is a conflict, an argument, a fight, probably a breakup, a betrayal. Man, detaching and walking away. Like I said at the very beginning, if this is a person who has to go see if the grass is greener on the other side of the fence, they almost always find out it's not greener on the other side of the fence, and then they try to make a comeback. Ah, I see this wall here now. 
because they advanced somewhere else and all the problems that that led to this is either with a person from their past like someone they already knew this could actually be multiple things at the same time it could be they did all that stuff with someone else and i've seen judgment a lot which means yes a decision was made to end it but it could also be resurrection like they want it back they're trying to overcome the obstacles here that were caused by advancing and they want the person from their past back which could also be you holding on tightly to you and not wanting to let go of you even though there was a betrayal even though there were secrets being kept even though a judgment was passed again this is still like i don't want to let go of it this could be two things actually at the same time they could not want to let go of some other person and at the same time not want to let go of you Oh my lord, what a mess. The world though, the ending of the cycle, the beginning of a new cycle. <clears throat> this is the final card of the Major Arcana. At the end of this cycle closing, it starts back over at the full. And then I've got the Seven of Wands under that. Like Leo energy of being walled off and defensive about something. Like defending a position on something. Defending a stance on something. Defending against accusations coming at them it can even represent being willing to fight for the connection wanting to fight for it not wanting to let go of it eight of cups again that's the overall energy of the reading it's pisces energy of emotional detachment physical detachment physically walking away go see if the grass is greener on the other side of the fence and then there's the four of swords which was your very first card in the reading that libra energy of Taking a pause, taking a rest, taking a break, trying to calm the mind down so I can figure out what to do moving forward from here. The fool. So they have started something new, but they're still not wanting to let go of something here either. King of Cups. They still have emotions for you. They're probably not expressing it. When I, I'm getting like a big pain, like right here in my upper back, right above my shoulder blade too. So something's off with this person. I don't know what what's going on with them. It's it's almost like they've made their choice, but that's not. They're still holding on to you, and at the same time, they were still holding on to this other person. When I clarify that Four of Pentacles, I get the Knight of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Swords and the Five of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. This is the slowest moving knight in the deck. It's an action taker, but it's very slow forward movement. Like monotonous type of movement here. Like one step at a time, not being willing to skip any steps. This is like slow and steady wins the race here. Like that story of the tortoise and the hare. This definitely isn't the hare. This is the tortoise, which goes way against... These two fastest energies in the deck that I already have out here affecting them. The other meaning to this card is it can be someone who knows what they're supposed to do but just doesn't do it for some reason. He's got the Ace of Pentacles in his hand. That's the seed of abundance. Yet the fields behind him are empty, completely barren because he hasn't planted the seed yet. He knows he hasn't. He's looking right at it. It's in his freaking hands. But he hasn't gotten up off his ass and planted it yet. This is a person who knows what they should do, but doesn't do it. And I've got all this forward movement right here. The Knight of Cups moving this way. The Page of Wands moving this way. The Knight of Pentacles moving this way. They're, they're moving into the future, but they're doing it in a way that they know is not how it should be done. Seven of Cups, Scorpio energy of options and choices and confusion about the options and choices. There's a lot of cups here, a lot of different ways this could play itself out. And they're not wanting to make a mistake and pick the wrong cup. But all the smoke clouds around the, the cups represent emotional confusion, clouded judgment, can represent intoxication, like being drunk or being on drugs and intoxicated by that and making some sort of a bad choice because of it. Could be they're just confused. Could be they have a lot of options and they have to choose between two of them. 
Ah, they move forward really f freaking fast. I almost said the F-bomb there. Really fast into some other connection. And now there's this emotional confusion, their f confusion they're feeling about it. Because well, they know what they're supposed to do is let go and detach. But they're, they're not doing that for some reason. Then I've got the Seven of Swords, Aquarius Energy. This is lying, cheating, stealing, deception, sneaking around behind your back, trying to get away with something they shouldn't be trying to get away with. I've got the person from the past, this energy of like, I'm, I've chosen my path, I'm taking actions on it, I'm probably being sneaky behind your back, doing stuff I shouldn't be doing, waiting on something to happen, and I don't think it's happened yet. The betrayal has happened, yes. The sneakiness has happened. The secrets have happened. The advancing forward and, and doing stuff they shouldn't have done has happened. But the actual thing that they're waiting on related to this other person hasn't happened yet. Which is probably why they're stuck in their head grinding on something. And still central to this energy that also affects them is commitment and taking it to the next level in marriage and the plan for the future and then all this fast movement passion related in front of that the sneakiness and now there's this five of cups scorpio energy of sadness and remorse about the past this is someone who's now focused on what they've lost they're focused on the past with two cards in the past this this person is walking toward the past but look into the future. This this person's out of whack here. This person is out of whack. This is like being in negative emotional states because of what they're focused on. There's still a connection that they feel for you, but they were focused on the three cups, the the third cup of love, the the and all the spillage that's happened because of that. All they've lost because of that, and they don't want to let go of that. This this almost feels this almost feels like they have I don't know if remorse is the right word to use because that would indicate someone like genuinely feels terrible about what they did and I don't know that's the case here this feels much more like yeah I did it I did it and I kept secrets and this collapsed everything here and now I we've ended this cycle and now I want to fight for it. Not because I actually want it, but because it's mine. And I don't want to lose what's mine. It, it would be like the little childish brat kid who doesn't want to play with his toys. Until the minute you try to pick them up and put them away and take them away from him. And now he's throwing a fit because that's my toy and rah, rah, rah. And it's like... No, dude, you, you weren't using it. You didn't do the right stuff with it. Being sneaky, but having regrets about it. But I don't feel like regrets because, well, I did the wrong thing. I feel like maybe I picked the wrong cup. Maybe the grass isn't greener on this side of the fence. And maybe I want to come back, which is probably why I'm seeing judgment so much with them. But they walked away. They caused the death of this connection their thoughts their actions created this situation they had the other cup they did the betrayal they caused the ending they were doing the unfair unjust thing they were doing the betrayal they caused the burden for you but now there's this burden that they're feeling and yeah then the very next card is the star and the four of wands and the ace of pentacles to the ten of pentacles oh that's what they're waiting on okay i get it now the star is a card of hope it's a card of healing in a love reading it can indicate that this person believes you're the one for them suddenly this is also like so this could be about having the hope that we can heal this connection i don't want to let go of it so i hope we can heal it but this is also the card that comes immediately after the tower you don't make it here without going through the tower and they are the one that caused it Having the hope they can heal this and get the stability of the home life and the family life back. Get the stability of the connection back. I saw the two of wands twice in your energy. Then I go to the three of wands in their central column. 
this is the four of wands the next step so it's progressing energy based on desire of what i want this is like a celebration of the home and the family it's a celebration of the thing i've been trying to manifest and the thing i'm waiting for actually getting here and having the hope that it's actually going to get here that i'm actually going to get this actual physical real world opportunity probably with you to get our ten of pentacles back and that's the thing that they're waiting on but then there's this internal conflict underneath that this probably a conflict between the two of you walls in the way and this period of time where they're waiting on something to fully pan out and being emotionally not happy and not content and daydreaming about this other cup this other thing they believe leads them to their happiness and fulfillment and then the knight of cups there again actions toward love and emotions advancing a love offer or a love connection very very distinct deck they're going in opposite directions here so at first they're advancing to the future and now they're wanting to come back to the past to you i think this person uh, they went to see if the grass is greener on the other side turns out it's not greener on the other side and yes now that i even though i did all this sneaky stupid stuff i want to come back is what this is looking like now if you still have questions you want answered about this situation or your relationship click on any of the videos that just appeared on your screen right now when you do you'll be taken to more taurus love readings that can give you more insight and more clarity about what's really going on in your particular situation and I'll see you in the next video.